Hello, welcome to my house and welcome to my channel. I'm Laura Cepeda and today I will show you something that you have been asking me to do. Well, finally, I will make the video so you can follow the easiest steps. Here the secret comes of how you can make the crotch point of these pens. I know and I have seen that how other creators make it, but well, here I will show you the easiest way so you can have the perfect pens and the most important that be comfortable to wear. You won't believe how easy it is this um, a small trick and this secret but it will change the way of how you make these beautiful pens. The stitch is so easy I decided to use these colors because I want to match these pens with a blouse that I'm making that later I will show you how you can make it too. Also if you want to lose the bottom of your pens to look like a bell you can and I will show you how you can make it. But, well, during the video I will give you all my secrets and tips, you will see. Please don't forget to subscribe and still tune till the end, because I will give you more secrets. But, well, thank you so much for clicking this video and for sharing and subscribing and leaving your comments. Well, I will give you the material list. Well, we are going to start these pants from the waist belt and we are going to start using the black color. For these pens for a medium size I will use 300 grams of black and 300 grams in white, okay? I will use this material that it's between light and medium weight yarn and uh, I will use the hook of number 3.5 millimeters. So in total we use 600 grams for a medium size, remember. So we are going to start making a long strip of chains that goes all around our hip, in this case for a medium size and uh, I, my daughter is the one that will use it, I will make 165 chains. Well, so I will make a sample just to show you how the stitch will be, I already made uh, the number of chains that I need for the real pan that I, pants that I will make. But well, this is just a sample. At the end, we are going to slip one to close, and it's important that we close this strip straight. We will go up with three chains, and now inside of each stitch, we are going to make a double crochet like this. This double crochet will be out of three crochet, and remember always to take the below part of the chain, like this, these two loops. Like this the whole row. I forgot to tell you that it's important that you have the number of your chains in even numbers, okay? So at the end of this row we are going to slip one to close, also it is important that we check that we didn't twist. Once we are sure that it's all straight, we are going to slip one to close. Right away we are going to close the hook in the back of the first double crochet and from there we will go up with three chains. Now we are going to make again the same, we are going to place the hook in the back and start the second double crochet. Then again turn over and now we are going to alternate, we are going to take the next two double crochet placing the hook in front. So like this is how we are going to continue the whole row alternating how we place the hook and how we start. You see we are going to make two placing the hook in the back and then two placing the hook in front, in, in relief. Like this is how we are going to continue the whole row, making two and two. Well at the end of the row, uh, please check that you uh, finish with the last to double crochet the opposite of the double crochet that we started. Okay, so for the next row we are going to continue as it was. Okay, if we started placing the hook in the back, well we are going to continue placing the hook in the back for the next two double crochet and then we are going to alternating. Like this is how we are going to continue making more rows 
And well, I will tell you exactly how many I made and see you there. Well, remember, I'm making this for my daughter. She's medium size. And I made uh, here one, two, three, and four rows with this stitch. I think it's perfect for the belt of my pants and for starting. Now, here is where we finish and where we will start with the next row. I will change color. Remember, I'm making this into different colors. So now I will um, start using the white color. So here I'm going to slip on to close and like I will be changing these colors, I will leave the black thread in hole so I won't cut them. Okay, we'll leave it behind. So well now, like, like we are going to use the white color, we will go up with three chains. This will be to start. Remember to leave the uh, black thread behind. Then in the stitch, in the stitch next to it, we are going to make the first double crochet. Again, we are making double crochet out of three crochet, and in the same place again, together, one more double crochet in the same place. Then we are going to skip three spaces, and in the fourth, we are going to make three double crochet together in the same place. As you could see I'm not making any chain between segments of double crochet because I want that the first part of my pants are a little bit more tighter than the rest, okay? And then while we continue uh, in the under part of their pants I want to open a little bit more to make the veil uh, pants that I want, okay? That effect but I will show you so far I will continue making all around these segments of three double crochet without making any chain between them okay so at the end we are going to slip one to close and now to start with the next row we are going to slip one until here until the end of the first segment of the three double crochet you see and remember that we have here behind the um, black color, the black thread. So we are going to take it right away and we will go up with three chains. We will start right away with the with this new color and now inside and between these segments is where we are going to place the segments but in black okay this is the stitch it's so easy as you could see i'm still not making any chain between segments and again i'm making the segments out of three double crochet remember this double crochet out of three crochet in each space so like this is how we are going to alternate the colors but well, here I have four rows and well, you will decide according to your size and according to the shape of your body if you would like to add more chains according to your shape, okay? Well, uh, at the end, we are going to have, you see, these small changes of colors, but you can barely see them, right? So now we are going to continue. Again, here we are going to start. We will go up with three chains and we will continue. As I told you, we are going to start adding one chain between segments and we are going to continue uh, with the segments. I suggest that you don't increase too much chains at the beginning because then it will increase too much, okay, your size. If you have doubts, please try on and see if it's okay or no okay but for now uh, as you could see here we have the black thread behind at the end we are going to hide all of these threads and you won't tell that you made this so we are going to continue making more rows until we arrive to the crotch point 
but we'll see you there to tell you how we are going to make it. This is a small secret that will change the way how you make the pens and will be the easier. But we'll see you there and please try on. Well, here is the belt and remember we made first four rows with any chain between segments. Then we continue making one between segments and so far this is the stitch. So under the belt until the bottom I made, let's count the rows. So here I have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20 and 21 rows, okay? We count like this. Please try on and see if you need to make more rows or if it's good and it fits if it fits perfect to your size. So now we I have the rows that I need. My daughter already try on and well here I just made the bottom and the half of the first row with black and I made and I made 12 chains and I joined the bottom sorry the front with the back and now we are going to start making each leg apart okay so we are going to continue first with this one with the same stitch also leaving one chain between segments and alternating the colors when you arrive here to the 12 chains well also you are going to uh, continue with the stitch for example when we arrive here well we are going to a continue with the segments, three double crochet and then we are going to skip only two spaces and then the next segment and between segments remember we are going to make one chain and we also remember that we are going to alternate the colors again and we are going to continue with the same technique if you feel that you need to open more a little bit more your stitch before that you add more chains between segments i suggest that you change the number of your hook for a bigger number so like this you are going to have the stitch a little bit more loose we are going to make the same in the other side too and we are going to use also these 12 chains and we are going to crochet over it and uh, we are going to continue with the same technique Okay, so this is the secret that I wanted to share with all of you that I suggest that you always make even if you are making a short. This tip is very helpful and useful and you will have very comfortable pants. Well, I did continue making more rows and following the pattern. I have 27 segments, okay, for the wide of my leg. At the end, I will stop making more rows because remember that when we iron it, it will lose a little bit and it, it will look longer. So please stop 6 centimeters before you arrive to the floor because if not, well, it will look so much longer than the pants that you want to. And well, under in the crotch part, I have four segments in one side and four segments in the other side too, okay? And I continue all around making more rows and alternating the colors. So I keep with the technique. Well, from the crunch part to the bottom, I made, remember that here we are counting two by two, but I made 30... I made 40 rows and 41, okay? So you must have the same number of rows in one leg than in the other. And well, here also, to verify it, we are going to count to have the same number of segments in one side than in the other. So yes, I have 26 and 27. So we must have the same in the other side too. And well, at the end, I didn't make any extra stitch or so, I didn't decorate. But well, you can make at the end a single crochet row or crab stitch row. But I wanted to keep it like this. I finished with the black color in both sides. And well, here in the top, I suggest that you put an elastic or some bottoms. In my case, I don't have an elastic right now with me, so I will just put a cord all around just to adjust to the 
hips or to the waist of my daughter and so she can wear it okay of or as i told you you can put some bottoms too so well, at the end we are going to iron it and it's ready to use well so what do you think i hope that you all have enjoyed making these beautiful pants with me i love it remember at the end to iron and to hide all the threads that you may have well, a long time ago I made it this blouse, as you could see I'm using the same stitch. In the case of the pants, I alternate the colors, but you can match other blouses that you have or even you can make these flowers to match the pants and use the flowers in the bottom and you will make an amazing set that everybody will like so i hope that you make it please let me know if you have any doubts it's very easy it's so fast to make it and you will love it and well i think it's perfect even for summer or for winter for winter you can use it with some boots or so and for summer well you can use it even in the beach but well i love sharing this idea with all of you i hope that you have enjoyed and that you make it in different colors thank you so much for watching until the end please don't forget to give me a like to subscribe and to follow me in all my social media in facebook pinterest and instagram and also in tiktok See you there and stay tuned for more. Bye-bye.